Hey, I'm hanging out with Richard Tapia, who is the owner of Heavy Metal. And let me tell you, this car is definitely a crowd favorite. We've been by twice to check it out. It's awesome. Good job. Well, I enjoy that, and I enjoy watching the people. It turned out to be a crowd favorite. We didn't design it that way. We didn't know how it was going to turn out. But we put everything that we loved into it, from music to the, the, the era of the cars. Every design thing was put into it. And everywhere we go, like uh, a month ago we were in San Antonio, and it was the people's choice. Okay? And then we, other things. So it's turned out to be, I think, more than we expected. So when we added the pieces together, the whole turned out to be much greater than the sum of the pieces. And so we're happy, and I love watching the people and talking to people like you. Well, thank you. So I've got to ask, was the design and the concept all you? Well, I mean, here's the way I work. I have an idea, and I bounce it off of people, a lot of people, my wife, my son, my daughter, the builders, and I listen, and I listen. And if everybody disagrees with me, then I'll maybe change my mind. But if they don't all disagree with me, then I follow it through. Or I'll say, that's a great idea. So, like the engine compartment, uh, you notice it doesn't have a lot of chrome, it has a lot of paint. That was Randy's idea. Randy wanted to say, I want him to focus just on the engine. And yet the side graphics were what I wanted, and I have a student of mine who's an artist uh, and math major, and so we spent four months fighting about what the right graphics were. So here's the way it goes. I listen to people, I have an idea, I listen to people, then I make the decision, and the final decision is gonna be mine. Because I pay for it. That's right, that's the way it goes. Now, you said a little bit there, you're a genius mathematician, I hear. I am a mathematician, I have a PhD. I'm not a genius, I mean, genius is overused. I'm intelligent, I've been successful, I do, I do have a PhD in mathematics, and I've had a very successful career. But I, I use the word genius for those very, very few people. And I'm not one of the very, very few, but I'm, I've done well. Well, either way, I think it's a really cool mix that that's what you do for a living, but you also have this passion for hot rods. That's great. Well, it had, had to be that way. It had to be that way because sometimes I need therapy. I need to get away from a stressful life on one side, and the car does it. But if I let the car become too stressful, then it doesn't serve the purpose. So for my wife and I, we've been through a lot of things. You know, she's in a wheelchair. She had multiple sclerosis. A uh, few years back, we had some tragedies and stuff. And in dealing with them, the car has helped a lot. So it's therapy. This is therapeutic, and I love it, okay? But if it gets to be too stressful, then it's not gonna work. Good, yeah, good for you. So why don't you tell us a little bit of specifics about the car? What do you, what do you got in it? Okay, well, it's a 70 Chevelle that we bought a long time ago, about 1993. It was a low mileage car, very clean. We built it as a car to be driven in the street and to show occasionally, and it was very successful. But in 1999, it was stolen. It was stolen from the parking lot of the Dallas Car Show, and it was gone for three months, and it, it was driven a lot and stuff. So we had a car that was sort of a weekend driver and showing, and we did very well with showing it, but it wasn't high end. And one time we, we took second place, and my wife does not like to lose. She has no second places. So when the police recovered the car, we got it back, and then we went all the way. So we said, okay, this one is gonna be. Now notice the car has no body modifications, but it's extreme on interior. It's extreme on paint, and extreme on engine you know, detail and stuff. So the car, we didn't chop up the body. It looks like a 70 Chevelle. But the interior wins, you know, outstanding interior all the time. It's all hand fabricated by Ron Mangus in California. The paint was done by Randy Borcherden of the Paint House. And so this car is built on interior, engine, paint, without heavy body, mo body modifications. So it looks like a 70 Chevelle. It looks like the car that somebody would have wanted to drive home from their high school prom or something like that. Okay? And that's it. So it's been a, attention to detail. The ideas, the side graphics were our ideas, how we took stripes moving into flames and putting the SS. And it's got a lot of detail that were our own little ideas. And the, the display is the same thing. So it's sort of been a love and a passion of the whole family. And we wanted it to look like a 70 Chevelle muscle car. Well, you did a great job. Good. Everybody loves it. I love it. It's one of my favorite cars I've seen here at the Autorama show. There, there was a woman who is the wife of one of the big managers here of the show, okay? And she came up yesterday and she told me, this is the car I would like to drive home. This is, of all the cars here, this is the one I'd want to drive home. So it's great. She's right. 
Well, thank you so much, Richard, for taking the time. Beautiful car, great job. I'm Amber Getz for HubGarage.com. This is Richard with Heavy Metal, and you're watching HubGarage.com.